The two areas of research that are really cutting edge currently, one of them is neuroimaging. And what we're finding is that these meditative practices can indeed change brain activity. Not only that, but over time, you actually change brain structure through what's called brain plasticity. Um, and that means you end up with a brain that is conducive to the benefits and the practices that come along with contemplative practices like yoga and meditation. And you can see changes in the stress system as reflected in the nervous system. The other cutting edge area of research in yoga is a molecular biological approach. There are studies that show that a major neurotransmitter is affected after a single yoga class. And there's other studies that show that you actually enhance gene activity that's good for you. Uh, things like immune response is improved. And you downregulate gene activity that is sometimes bad for you if you're under chronic stress. Things like inflammation. So we're starting to see that, that yoga is not just a hobby, not just something that you practice on the side. This is real biological stuff. You're really changing the activity of neurons in the brain. You're changing um, function within the body at the cellular and even the molecular level.